it's generally true that the further away from our own time we get, the vaguer we get about what we're looking at in portraits and what people wore generally. But of course the further you go back, the less surviving clothes there are. And once you get back to the 17th and 16th centuries, uh, there are quite a lot of clothes surviving, but not a lot of whole outfits. So the one thing that portraits give you that really nothing else does is what people wore together. I'm David Thompson. Uh, I'm a gallery assistant at the National Portrait Gallery. And uh, tonight's going to be quite exciting for me because I'm used to being this side of the paintings. But dressed like this, I now feel I'm uh, a character in one of the paintings. So tonight I've come with several colleagues from London uh, with four outfits that range from male outfit of the 1570s through to a male outfit of the 1620s. So we're covering a 50 year period of fashion. They're all aristocratic uh, outfits and we're dressing models here, uh, one woman, three men, um, to show the different layers of dress, the different garments worn one on top of the other to achieve the final shape. And we'll hopefully show changing fashions through that period. Actually, it feels all right. I think the only thing that I would probably feel a little uncomfortable with is that the shoes, the heels are a little bit higher than uh, I would normally wear. Portraits for me are a vital part of a triangle, if you like, and that, that triangle is of documentary evidence. So written descriptions of people and their clothes, but it only works when you put it together with looking at people in portraits and trying to figure out how the two relate to each other and how one informs the other. You know, I notice details today all kinds of details from the 16th and 17th century collection here that I've never noticed from seeing them reproduced in books, which I think is the one, you know, overwhelming reason why it's very important to get people to come to the galleries to actually try to understand what's in front of them. It's quite funny because at times when they dress you, it feels uncomfortable and then suddenly there's a bit of a hunch and uh, a twist or, or whatever and all of a sudden it sort of all fits into place. Yeah, I feel a lot more elegant and, I don't know, I think my posture is a lot better. I'm restricting at the waist but otherwise quite comfortable and cosy. Home. Fashion is one of these curious things that uh, there's not always a logic behind it. <laughs> Not to keep my trousers up, or my stockings up, or pantaloons up, purely to fulfil the, the feeling of the period. <laughs>